Take a look at these absolutely stunning pictures that I've come in and we're putting out for our viewers. That's how the rover Pragyan Exeshli has exited the lander. That's in fact uh, uh, Pragyan, the rover, which has exited. And these are pictures that have been put out by ISRO. Uh, the rover essentially has left Vikram lander. This was expected. The scientists are waiting for the lunar dust to settle. This is already done. Uh, and these are first images or video that has now been released by ISRO. And the kind of work that the rover Pragyan is expected to do is to collect information from the surface of the moon, the soil. Remember, this is the south pole or the dark side of the moon where no one really has ever gone before. It, the expectation clearly is that ice is going to be found here. And that is what is being said, given that the sun's rays do not reach this side of the moon, which is the dark side of the moon. So this place is largely unexplored. Water in its form we know, which is there on the surface of the moon, is going to be found in the ice form. Not just that. The rover has other functions also. It will study the soil in this particular region on the surface of the moon. Also, explore. Rovers will take pictures, collect information about the surface of the moon by taking temperature readings, rock and soil samples and to see how really rovers function and the kind of information that they will be sending to us. That's going to take about 14 days or so is what has been clarified and explained to us by ISRO already. Sagai Raj is also there with us to talk to us about the significance of the very fact that the rover has already for uh, our viewers gotten to work and these are First, videos that have been put out by ISRO and very, very beautiful and clear images, Sagai. Most importantly, it actually just shows us how Rover is going to work from here on in the moment, that very exact moment when it exited the Vikram lander, Sagai. Absolutely. Remember, on the day of landing, after two hours, the scientists as well as the chairman of ISRO has clarified that uh, uh, it will be coming down, it will be sliding down from the lander to do its work. And today they have released the footage that when uh, 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 rovers uh, slide down and uh, uh, landed on the moon surface. And now, as we speak, they are uh, collecting the data. So it is collecting the soil sample. It is collecting the required uh, materials on the surface of the land. And this clearly shows that uh, Israel scientists are on their job and they will continue their job for next 14 days. Remember, one full one lunar day is a 14 days of the Earth, and they have to finish almost all the research work by then because they have enough of power for these 14 days, and it will also generate more power using solar panels on the rover as well as landing. That's right. In fact, Sagai, uh, these are visuals, and like I said, very clear pictures that have come out of uh, of uh, Pragyan, uh, literally, in fact, which is in fact uh, attached to the belly, literally, of the Vikram lander rolling out. Uh, it has started, it started, the ISRO had informed about it, that the moonwalk by Pragyan has started. Talk to us about the kind of information that we expect really now from the rover to be sending uh, back on Earth. 14 days is what it's going to take for the information to start to pour in. Sakai. Days of the Earth, and uh, that is the reason that uh, uh, they have calculated the days. And when it accordingly, they had uh, set the lander and uh, made the landing on 23rd. And from 23rd, they have 14 days. As we speak now, the rover is doing its job. Everything is fine. There is no hassle. There is no hurdle for it.